Oh, sorry, Emirates. It's uh, Arsenal fans have found their voice. Three, two, hundredth minute, whatever it was. How'd you feel, mate? Mate, I'm raging. I think looking at our Bournemouth fans come out of the stadium as the game is finished, we are absolutely fuming. Four seconds, I counted. We were there for a draw, and their fans are singing "Sweet Caroline" because. Yes. Thanks. Found your voice, fella. Yeah, yeah. They are singing "Sweet Caroline" because they beat Bournemouth. Four seconds. I tell you what, we played them off the park there. We are all despondent here, absolutely raging. I tell you what, Bournemouth, we can hold our hands up here. We were there today. Do you think? Play that out the rest of the season. It's got to be a little bit of hope. Take away, it's obviously we're in we're in bits right now. But if we do that the rest of the season, yeah. we got we got we got a chance. Yeah, hundred percent. I think last week at City, it was marginal. This week, two hundred percent better. I tell you what, if we can take Liverpool on next week like we did today, hundred percent. I tell you what, if we can mind the gap against Southampton, I'm happy anyway. <laughs> but I tell you what, today. I was so proud to be Bournemouth today. So proud with everyone else. Everyone is Great. despondent. Cheers, mate. Um, Billy. Got it. Who's coming on, Billy? Oh, no, oh, Billy, mate. Sorry. Go on, boys. As I said, Arsenal have found their voice, so they're all cheering now. <laughs> Haven't heard them for 95 minutes. Um, they're loud now. What do you think, Bill? I've got to go home with these lot. Yeah, you have. Um, first of all, I'm going to say 2,000 Bournemouth fans sang their hearts out today. Absolutely fantastic. Um, going on to the game, we did not deserve to lose that, the way we played that. OK, it was very sloppy from the start because we, we got the early goal and we sat back, but we knew, we knew it was going to be like that. Even if we held on for a one-all draw, I would have took that. And then even at the end, we were 2 nil up. And we thought, yeah, you know what, we've got it in the bag, but no. A, a draw would have been great, but... It's just very, it's just very disheartening of how it happened. Number one found his voice. Uh, we are. Uh, I thought we. I, I don't know. I think. I think that first goal was the killer for me because I think at two 0 we look comfortable. As soon as they get one, it just feels like we give them that incentive to come on. And I felt like the boys, they ran hard, but they they ran out of legs at the end. I've never been more proud to be a Bournemouth fan. That, that was that was it was it was fantastic. The, the, the way they played. If we go into the Liverpool game like that. We could do something deadly against Liverpool. And uh, look, it, it, you look lost for words. To lose a game like that, you, 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 you get stunned. And I think the only positive we've got to say is West Ham lost. So I'm pleased. Yeah, all right. Cheers, Bill. Cheers, mate. Take care, mate. Yeah, yeah. All the best, Sam. Take care, mate. Yeah. Here we got Mike. Yeah, hello, mate. How are you feeling? Oh, it's so, it's so frustrating, isn't it? But we played well today. We worked hard, didn't we? I couldn't believe it. What a start, eh? Uh, it's got to be one of the fastest goals ever in the Premier League. It's second fastest ever, apparently. Is it? Right. Uh, it was amazing. I couldn't believe it. But what a start. And then we just, uh, we basically just held back and they had all the possession. I think we only had 20% possession, didn't we, for the first half? But the defence were brilliant. Uh, Chris Methlam. Uh, super. Uh, absolutely superb. He, he just had everything. And then... Uh, Unbelievably, his second half, we got that second goal, absorbing loads and loads of pressure, got this second goal yeah, in the counter-attack again. And I thought, we've got it now. I mean, it was just constant pressure, though, wasn't it? It was, it was. But I think once you get that first goal, I don't mind that, because I think you've got the goal. And, um, yeah, and, and then you're going to hang on a little bit. But I, I can't work out if they were if they're a good side and that side of champions, or if they were very, very lucky today. Because I... I thought they were lucky. I thought we played really well. Well, I thought we were brilliant Get today. Get me out of the back. Get me out of the back. Found their voice. They found their voice. Sweet. Yes, exactly. 95 minutes. Exactly, Tom. They were very quiet today. I think we're probably, uh, I think we're probably one of the hardest teams they've actually played. I mean, uh, we were absolutely magnificent today. Yeah. And uh, we, we knew they were going to come back. When they got the two, I thought, well, we at least deserve the point. But I'm really gutted more than anything else that six minutes the referee found. Yeah. And it even went over well six over that, minutes. Yeah. And so it was almost like playing for them to score. So I'm gutted. And then, like you say, then they found their voices. I've, I've lost mine as well. Play like that against Liverpool, though. We've got a chance. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Uh, so I'm, I'm proud of the boys. I thought they did well. And uh, 
we had plenty of chance to nick another goal, but it's the way that's the way football was, isn't it? Say that, mate. Come on, Jeffy. Come on. How are you feeling, mate? Gutted, but um, yeah, didn't expect anything today. So to have got so close, kicks you in the teeth. It's hard to take. We played really well. I thought. Um, I thought actually Ramsdale made a couple of really crucial saves. We could. We could have had. We could have been three 0 up before they scored their first, and that that might have been. Might have at least got us a point, but as soon as they got one goal, I think the the chances of us holding out were going to be tough. Um, That's why I said it felt like that first goal. As soon as they got one, that was my worry. I felt if we give it two 0 for another ten or so, we might have been all right. But I felt like we just ran out of legs a little bit. A little bit. I, th I thought I thought the team played pretty well. I thought Dom was immense, and I thought the uh, midfield Rothwell and Billing were superb. Um, Back, the back three centre halves who've got a bit of flack after last week. I thought they, they all did really well, and Neto was terrific. But it's just those small moments, you know, that 97th minute, Smithy, you've got to throw yourself in front of that, not just like, go to block it, you know. And yeah. it's little things like that that cost us. And if you don't don't do those sorts of things, you you risk, you know, the quality they got. That was, it was great, great finish. It yeah, was. Great finish. He, he changed the game. He got the assist for the, for the equaliser as well, Nelson. I think that does set us up in a positive mindset for Should the games be. to come. That's, those were our two hardest games. City, we didn't really turn up, but today we did. And I thought that that's that could get us over the line. If you consider we're missing Lerma, we're missing Tavs, we're missing... Um, yeah, we're missing... I was, I was going to say, that we've said it before about the Pearson deal, uh, letting them go out on loan. And I, I thought today, with the injuries we've got, Rothwell played well, but you knew he couldn't last. Yeah. You're chucking Lewis Cook on, who's been out injured in a game like that yeah. and I thought he looked rusty and no, no disrespect to him yeah. but Rothwell was having a good game we had to take him off and we had no one else but a player that's been injured for a long time and uh, that sort of game makes me think oh if maybe a Pearson you know I know we've got injuries with Lerma as well but I just felt that did cost us a little bit because they had the engine and then they could bring Xhaka on and have a bit more legs yeah, you know they, 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 their bench was so much stronger than ours today and we're, 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 we are we are missing players but Good, good performance. I mean, I, I completely, completely mental to have limbs to be two 0 up at the Emirates. You know, I've never seen a score at the Emirates. I've never seen a score against Arsenal in away games ever. So brilliant to have gone two 0 up and you yeah. know, just, on to the next. One. We just got to look at that as a, as weirdly positives that you know how we've competed today, and we're going to have we're going to have teams around us that if we play like that, and to a degree, a uh, little bits against City as well that we might be able to. We're not expecting to get anything today. And that, I'm just hoping that doesn't really knock the stuff out of the boys. I, I hope it doesn't. It should give us confidence. You know, they've got to believe after that that you know, we can compete with the teams that are below Arsenal and we can, we can do it. We can get out of this. We'll be fine, Jeff. We'll be fine. Have we got anyone else? Have we got anyone else? Yeah, come boys. Yeah, good boys. Yeah. Quite sad. How are you feeling, lads? Um, I'm proud that we even got to the 90th minute and held the, the league leaders to, to that point. But, I mean... It's a shit way to lose, isn't it? Oh, horrible, language, mate. But... Nah, it's horrible. Yeah. But if we play like that against other teams, that's the, yeah. that's my fear is against the teams around us, we don't perform like that. If yeah. we do, that should give us confidence, shouldn't it? Yeah. It's the first time we played two up top. And having those two centre forwards with yeah. Salah and Semenya made a huge difference in the game. And like, yeah. What do you think of five at the back, though? I mean, I'm not a massive fan, but I think when you get the first goal, yeah. I, I think that's key. When you get the first goal, you've got something to hang on to. And I thought we did that all right today, yeah. but... Oh, but I, I said to Sam when he took Samura off, Sam was saying to me that, yeah. is there an injury there? Because I don't really get it. I thought he was playing well yeah. um, against a player like Saka, who would be kept quite quiet. But Reese yeah. Nelson changed the game. But <laughs> didn't know he was still here, to be <laughs> honest. No, no, Reese who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. I don't know, lads. What, what, do, you, do you think there's more positives to come out? I know we've lost late and another two goal lead. Yeah. But do you think. I'm proud of us. Yeah. I, I, honestly, I'm actually proud of the boys, regardless of the result. The fact that I even had hope until the 90th minute, yeah. that's a positive, to you take can tell. The lead leaders yeah. to the last kick exactly. of the game. Yeah. I'll take well, every day of the week. Two minutes over, but anyway. Well, yes, <laughs> well exactly, yeah. Six yeah. minutes, where did that come from? Boys. Honestly, thank you so much. Uh, Safe trip back. Cheers, boys. Thank you, lads. Have we got anyone else? Come on. Hey, hello. <laughs> You're all right. How are you feeling? Well, a uh, little glum, aren't we? Sick. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. I mean, there's that initial bit where we're like, hang on, 
we could win this. The hope that kills you, like. it's, it's ridiculous yeah. because there's nowhere in the world we should win this. But we're we're in an amazing position. Then it starts flying in, doesn't it? And they start nailing it. And yeah. let's be fair to them, they're our quality team, aren't yeah. they? And then suddenly, where does this six minutes of added yeah. time come from in the second half? Yeah. Well, how do they score their winner in the 97th minute? When six minutes have been added that have come from nowhere, how, what's going on there? How yeah, frustrating. I think I think the fans got a netter all game, didn't they? And I think yeah. I think that played into it. To be yeah, fair, but absolutely. I don't know. I, I don't want to look at it as that we threw that away. I want to look at we lost our legs maybe a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But I just think I thought that first goal they scored was the killer because yeah. I thought we were comfortable at two. As soon as they got one, yeah. it yeah. felt like it was inevitable a little bit, didn't it? Yeah. You yeah. can't you can't resist quality like that no. for that period of time, no. and they did so well to resist it for as long as they did. Um, I think that's side of champions for them a little bit. Huh? It felt like it was like side of a team that are going to win the league. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And we, I can't fault our guys. They were amazing. Amazing. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, said, I said before, I felt for people like Lewis coming on when he's been out injured. Yeah. He's coming on rusty and like, we maybe, we maybe lacked a bit of legs in the last 10, but if we take that on into the next few, surely we've got a chance now. We've got some yeah, points coming it's back. It's positive, surely. isn't it? We played yeah. well. It was a yeah. great game, to be honest. It but. was. It was. <laughs> yeah. We've got a few goals, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe we've lost that, guys. <laughs> I can't believe. Please. We scored two at the Emirates, and I'm gutted. I can't yeah. believe it. I can't believe We're going to be Liverpool now, aren't we? Oh yeah, hundred percent. We will. Yeah, do. Did they drop that. points? I've got a feeling they they were they were drawing with I Wolves. No, that's Tottenham. Either. That's Tottenham. I've got it all wrong. Yeah, don't worry yeah. about it. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, up the chairs. Up the chairs. Always. See you later. See you later. Hello, mate. Jake. How would you feel, mate? That was horrible. Wasn't it play well though. It's an absolute joke. What the minutes added? You think you go? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Wasn't sick, was it? No. May as well just put eight up on that board. It's not. It's not six minutes, is it? No, I agree. Basically lying <laughs> because it was eight minutes, not six, and absolutely fuming, absolutely fuming. How do you think we played though? You you proud of the the players and how we performed yeah. today? Against a good team. Yeah, it was. It was good to go two 0 up, but again, a bit disappointing. Like Leeds, like Tottenham, it's just a, a bit disappointing. Yeah. Um, to lose like that. Play like that against other teams though. Are you confident we can stay up? Are you confident we'll be alright? Uh, it'll be hard, but I reckon we'll just scrape it. Yeah. I thought we had some good performances today. Who's your man of the match today? Because I thought we had some good performances today. Defenders played well. I thought Solanke led, led, led the line well. Yeah. I'd say Phil Bill. Phil Bill for you? Yeah. Yeah, no, he's, he's, scored, a, he's scored a key goal. I thought... I don't know, what do you think about Liverpool? Do you think we play that five? Do you think we go for him a little bit more? What do you reckon? I don't know. Liverpool's form's been a, a bit rocky, yeah. so we can kind of court them. We can catch them, but yeah. what we Chelsea were in a bit of a bad state when we played them and we couldn't get past them, so it's going to be a hard one, but maybe a draw. But I just feel like the referee plays yeah. to, until the opposition score now, and I don't think they want Little or Bournemouth in Premier League anymore. It's hard to disagree, mate. Cheers, Jake. Nice to see you, mate. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Well, else? Cheers mate. Thank you. Cheers, boy. Hello, Kurt. You're all right. I think I'm feeling like you, probably. Yeah, I'm buzzing, mate. Um, <laughs> hey. Do you know what that felt like? That felt like season defining for us and potentially season defining for them for different reasons yeah it felt like a bit uh, they'll be coming out going that side of champions won't they yeah. but i felt they were a little bit fortunate um i just felt we ran out of legs a little bit i was just saying to a few guys there that i felt with because of the options we've got rothwell ran out of legs and then you're asking someone like lewis cook who hadn't played many minutes to come on he looked a bit rusty yeah. but what do you think happened mate yeah i felt like lewis cook was probably in this squad because we had no numbers yes. and ben pearson's probably playing in the championship today um, when we went 2-0 up, which I never expected, it was then a key period, I suppose, after that, whether it's 10, 15, 20 minutes, like I've spoken to others about, that you just need to hold on. But I thought we held on really well in the first half. But once they can see, once you concede that first goal, I said, which yeah. I think was poor from Absolutely. the back post, the second one I think's worse because we're ball watching. And then the third one is a killer, probably way over injury time. And 98, I think. I just can't quite believe oh. it. I mean, I don't even really want to be that negative because if you tell know, me at the start of the day that we come in and score two goals and lose it at the end, I'll probably take it off you. The fact that 
the winner comes from a second ball that he gathers at the edge of our box and strikes it inside our box I'm just like how but I'm probably more annoyed that the time seems like yeah, it's no. over the six minutes it's one of them don't want to be too negative like you say the time's gone over but you think you know as a player you've got to defend one set piece yeah. one set piece properly and he's just left on his own to just fire one and they're going to have that quality they're Arsenal you know they're top of the league for a reason but there's got to be positives going into the games coming up mate we've, we've got to look at these last two City won unbelievable, but we had we had some good moments, yeah. and today we caused the league leaders some problems. So surely we've got. I just hope that doesn't dampen them too much, and it, they look at the positives. There are positives. It felt like the penny dropped a little bit yeah. today because attack is our best form of defence. It's been a long time since we've seen a Bournemouth team come out from the off Definitely. and strike early, so that was nice to see. Getting players back in this squad, our injury list is growing, which is weird because we look like we had a good January transfer window and we're looking very light again, so that's a concern. I agree with you on podcasts and second looks that I've seen on back of the net that you've spoken about picking points up in these games, yeah. and a point would have been a massive point, a big point, and and now it's even more crucial that we get something against Liverpool next week yeah. because we can't just put the pressure on us beating teams in and around us because we've not even done that enough. No. So we know that time's running out, games are running out, points need to be get at and yeah. um, I think Wolves potentially beat Spurs. They didn't beat them, did they? I think they might have beaten them. Oh. They definitely took the lead against Spurs. So, um, oh, I don't know. I, I, elation, deflation. Probably means what... That's probably why the Arsenal fans, yeah, Wolves beat Spurs, great. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, I, my, my worry is, I've been saying to a lot of people, like, we've shown a lot in the last two, particularly today, and everyone's going, well, we'll just play like that against teams around us. Yeah, but we haven't. So, I, my, my concern is teams won't play like this against us, and we won't be able to sit back and just counter. So, we're going to have to find, we're going to have to find a bit more in us when we've got the ball, and that's my concern. These games should have no pressure yeah. because we have no expectation. So we should just be going for these as a free hit. I know people don't like that word, but we yeah. should, without completely being gung-ho and exposing ourselves too much, we should be looking at these games like we did and hit them on the break early and, and counter a few times. The problem is when we go into those games against Leeds that we need to right the wrong of the result at Ellen Road and we've got Southampton away and we've got West Ham at home. These easily could be tense and tight fixtures that could go either way. But it does ask us to do a little bit more in those fixtures rather than just expect... Soak it up. And exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's going to go down to the wire. I think that's probably how it's looked all season. Can't wait. But, oh, I don't know, mate. It's I exciting, isn't it? We were so close. So close. Nice to hear, Kirk. Have we got anyone else, have we? No, we're around, uh, I've got to like, so like, subscribe. If you're an Arsenal fan, well done for finding your voice at the end of the game. Um, uh, love what do I do? oh yeah watch the away day show where we'll talk about your atmosphere which was an absolute I'm joking oh, wait, oh, oh, cheer thank up, you cheer uh, we were unlucky today boys cheers for fighting hard worked really hard today we're going to Liverpool we'll beat them piece of piss well done Arsenal <laughs> the one cup final